Hello, I'm Greg Sorensen, the Marketing Manager for Berkshire Coral International. And it's my great pleasure to speak today with Chris Tucci, Berkshire Coral's Operations Director. Tell us about your role at BCI. It is part of my responsibility to ensure that all of our soloists and faculty members and conductors are uh, receiving their contracts on time and that all of our vendors have their contracts in order so that when a chorister shows up, everything is seamless and they get to enjoy the music and focus on the music while they're there. Sadly, Berkshire Choral's 2020 season was canceled this year. We had, we had events and singing weeks in Lenox, Boston, Amsterdam, and Barcelona. And you know, one thing I love about BCI, our community is really warm and the members are engaging and they look forward to singing together. And this year, because everything has been canceled, we are creating a number of programs that gives, give people a chance to interact with each other. Um, tell us about some of the things you're working on. I know you're working on um, working with our singers and creating interesting video presentations. I'm arranging our soloists who would have performed with us this summer and soloists who have performed with BCI in the past to create an online recital. That'll include commentary from the artists themselves and some of their performances that they want to share with choristers and also commentary and interviews with Frank, our amazing music director as well. So when we piece all those together, It'll be the type of immersive experience you might get at a BCI week in that you get a chance to interact and, and speak with the artists who are there with you that week. Frank has spoken with um, several of our conductors from past BCI seasons, and we're going to be doing some interview sessions with them. So coursers will, coursers will have an opportunity to log on and to listen to a conversation between our music director and the conductors that they may have worked with in the past or conductors that they might work with in the future. Are, are you working on some lessons, private yeah. lessons as well? Tell us about yeah. that. Oh, it's, yeah, so private vo voice lessons are happening right now. It's an opportunity where a chorister could sign up for one half hour lesson just to have that moment to, to sing and to have someone listen and provide feedback. And then also working to develop longer term goals for their voice. And some of those are happening over three or more 60 minute lessons. That's terrific. I'm, um, BCI is, is active and engaging its choristers and that's wonderful. Yeah, and I think one of the fun things that we're doing is we've been taking BCI chorister recipes and uh, I've set up a studio in my kitchen and using that studio, we're making videos uh, so you, the type of sharing that might have happened at the dining hall in a BCI week is now happening through the internet with, with sharing recipes. And where can we find some of these recipes? If you subscribe to our YouTube channel, so our YouTube channel, Berkshire Coral International, if you just type that into YouTube, you'll find us. And if you hit subscribe every time we upload a video or we schedule a premiere, you'll be notified. And you can also find them on our website. So if you go to our website and navigate to programs and you'll see singer resources and under that singer resources tab you'll see uh, places where you can sign up for voice lessons where you can see any upcoming interviews or programs that might be occurring and then a list of the recipe videos and the recipes themselves i know you have a wide musical taste as well wide variety of music that you listen to um tell us about your interest in in musical theater. I was often sat in front of a television to watch, you know, something like The Sound of Music. Uh, and, you know, I just absorbed all of these musicals through the medium of television. Uh, I got hooked into musical theater there and I just fell in love and then have continued my love as a director. So I've spent most of my time in the director chair for musicals. You've had a fascinating career in the world of theater and from your education and your experiences. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I am on the faculty for the Moment Work Institute, which is with the Tectonic Theater Company in New York City. So you might be familiar with Tectonic through pieces like The Trials of Oscar Wilde, 33 Variations, and the 20 year anniversary of The Laramie Project. Uh, before that, I was the director of theater at the Heidelberg School of Music and Theater. Spent uh, several years there, uh, really enjoyed my time. Um, 
met a lot of amazing colleagues, uh, reignited my love and excitement for classical music there. The films I've done have been at Cannes Film Festival and the LA International Films Festival. Now, you, one of your projects was recently lauded by the New York Times and Time Magazine. I mean, that's incredible. Um, yeah. Talk about this project. Yeah, so there are some neighbors up the road here in the Berkshires <laughs> um, who started a podcast called Circle Round, and it's a podcast for children, um, essentially for, for families to listen together. There are folk tales and parables from around the world. So four seasons later, I've provided voices uh, as varied as possums and spiders and giants and landlords, and every week features a new celebrity guest, uh, original compositions from Eric Shimalonis, uh, and it's it's been a real joy. Well, thank you, Chris. It was a pleasure speaking to you today. Oh, you as well. And uh, keep looking for us on the BCI website. More stuff is coming up.